how to get a man to open up, stop trying to get him to open up. And that's in our class, understanding men. The more you ask men what they feel, the more they're going to either go too far to their female side and not be interested in you, or they're going to reject you as if you're pushing into them and you're being needy with them and whatever. It, and it's just a fun story. I remember one of my buddies who's divorced now, but an unhappy marriage. And it, we, we go to the movies every week for 50 years now. Oh, this is like 30 years ago. And a buddy, you know, guys, <laughs> friends forever. Don't see you for five years. See you. We're friends again. You know, it's not like, but somehow we keep finding each other and living in the same cities and we're buddies. So we go to the movies approximately every week, guy time. So we go see an action movie. And before that, we talk a little bit. Sometimes we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit after the movie or whatever and say goodbye. And he was complaining about his wife. She said, she always saying, you never talk, you never talk. And he says, we've been married 10 years. What's that to talk about? What do, we, what do you need to talk so much for? Don't need to talk. And I listened to that and I said, yeah, that's really interesting. But when we get together, we always talk. And just, yeah, why is that? Because I don't care if you talk. <laughs> I talk, I talk. I know when it's come to the movies. Uh, guys will tend to talk and connect after they're doing something. See, they may play a game of tennis and drink something, casually drink, whatever. Uh, I don't know. You know, you go to the bar, funny at a bar, you're not looking at the person, you're looking forward, you know, you're talking, maybe you got a TV screen up there watching a game while you're talking. It's easier for men. It's there's, it allows them to stay on their male side while they're connecting to their female side. You know, when you just look at somebody, you go too far to your female side if you're a man, and then you have nothing to say. You wanna come back to who you are, you're masculine, but you have a female side. So if you want a man to open up, give up trying to get him to open up and realize why do you need them to open up? You're feeling insecure. You will feel more secure if you start talking and sharing what you have to say. And then women have an obstacle to that because they're afraid he'll think he won't be interested in what she's saying. And he may not be. <laughs> that, that's quite often the truth. But will make him interested in what you have to say. I promise you this, if you bring some emotion into it and you talk about something that is different from him, that he doesn't have to take responsibility for. Just something happened today at work, or I saw this on TV, or I can't believe the politics of so-and-so, and they did this and this and this. Whatever it is, share what you think, share what you feel. You can always say to him, well, what do you think about that? He says, that's ah, okay. Don't push further. Don't use the phrase, how do you feel about that? That's gonna make him constipated. I was once doing a, an Oprah show, and the guy, woman was complaining, and this is when Oprah's trying to be a therapist, and and he says, well, how do you feel about that to the guy? And he's like, I don't know. And he couldn't talk. I said, Oprah, just ask him, what does he think about that? And boom, the guy's got all these opinions about everything. <laughs> but he's not always the go-to for a man you don't want it to be. What do you think about that? And, and then don't argue with him, of course. Just hear what he says and appreciate what the logic of it. Well, that makes sense. That's a good idea. Move on if you disagree. Not a big deal. So you you, you basically... Don't try to man to be your girlfriend and you will lose attraction for him if he goes there. And many men become your girlfriend. This is called the friend zone. They always lose it, the woman's attraction is when they start talking about their feelings and they're complaining and this happened, I don't know what to do. No, if you want to talk about that, go to a guy to talk. And you know what these guys will say? They'll say, no, guys don't want to listen to that. Yeah, it's just, you're being too female. You're a guy, be a guy, suck it up. What do I do? Then in that case, you're too far on your female side. You journal those feelings or you go talk to a therapist and you share with that therapist. That's okay. Or go get a woman therapist. She'll love to hear all that stuff from you and realize that's your mother relationship, okay? You're not gonna have a sexual relationship with her. So that's fine. You can be like a little boy and share what you need to say to your mother or share what you're feeling inside. But ultimately coming back to masculinity is solving problems. What do you think? Having thoughts, having opinions, having goals, achieving goals. You know, and sharing feelings is not necessarily that important unless you're very grounded in your masculine side. You don't need to share feelings, and then at times you do, but you're not coming from a negative place, okay? You're coming to share what's going on, and you're not sharing fears and anxieties and de depression and disappointment. I feel so bad. You can, if you do, You. what I look at is like when it doesn't 
uh, lower you down, you can say things like, you know, it's really hard. It's really difficult. It's challenging for me. But it should be like one tenth the negativity of the positivity that comes out of you. Women need to feel a man is anchored and he can handle stuff. And, and that's what makes you attractive to her and that makes you feel good. What men don't know is that every time you verbalize and you're in an intimate relationship, a negative feeling, your estrogen goes way up and that makes you weaker. See, this is a hormonal balance inside of men. Your testosterone always needs to be higher than your, testo your estrogen. It is easy science on this go anywhere what is a man's healthy testosterone levels is 10 times higher than a woman's what is a woman's healthy estrogen levels 10 times higher than a man's what is a woman's estrogen levels when she's having an orgasm 20 times higher than a man's okay so we just a simple little conclusion i just applied just that even to what i know about many women it all makes sense